We 10 YPP slash growing power. It's about 10 o'clock. And you know, we got a box of lettuce, a big box. You see how big that is? Then we got a tray of some um, tomatoes and lettuce. And we got another big box of lettuce. Yep. Putting that nitrogen on. <laughs> okay. It's Bobo. Where do y'all get all this food from? Local bomber markets. Y'all go up there every week and just yeah. pick up what they got. It's oh, not bad. Week. Twice a week. Collect it, bring it, throw it in the truck, bring it on out here. Go to the nickel store, get a lot of cardboard boxes. Okay, dang. You kind of looking like uh, Will Allen over here. You are. You know what I'm <laughs> <sighs> throw that dirt right here. The dirt you making that hole. Do the position right here. Keep it good. I don't even know if it's good to put the, all the liquid in there or not. That might be a yeah. kind of dirt that is. That's Zupu. Zupu compost that we made. See that? Some strawberries. Um, that's a stented rose bush with a root stock. Root stock. Root stock. This is root stock. Much like a rose bush, but it's not as wide. Put them together. Yeah, so, stinting. So it's a combination of grafting and, and cloning at the same time. Yeah. It's what you do with roses. Because oh, rose bushes to... normally can't grow in a certain type of soil, like in this clay soil. Yeah. That normal root system of rose bush just won't grow. So you need a root stock so the plant can actually grow roots oh, so, and live. So, so you have to combine another two plants, plants together and then you end up with pretty much one plant. Uh, that's good. And then just sit it in there like that. Right on top of it. Some one person to hold it. Plant up. There and then and you can just water, you gotta water this. everything good though. And flatten it out. Why do you keep growing for it? 